Step number nine, on the outfeed side of the jointer, remove the three Phillips head screws that secure the bearing support plate to the cabinet. All right, step number 10, loosen the set screw that connects I'm sorry, that secures the collar on the spiral gear shaft behind the P housing. Looks like a three millimeter. And this is the right side. Looks like that one was under a little bit of pressure. It's kind of weird. Step 11, slide out the spiral gear shaft assembly through the front of the cabinet. Oh. oh. There we go. Comes right out. Okay. There's my bushing, all covered in nasty grease. I think you definitely want to have those tables locked before you do that. Step number 12, repeat steps 9 through 11 on the right side of the jointer. We've already done that. Step number 13, remove the M8 dash 1.25 by 25 cap screws and lock washers securing the stand to the base. Oh boy. Okay, so I did not film the removal of these, uh, these bolts. These are the bolts that uh, they're like, they're like right here and they connect this top plate to the base. And I didn't film it because it's really cramped in there, and uh, I didn't think that me filming me turning some bolts would really add that much to the video. I mean, there, there are four of these. They're all the same size, I think. There's one there, there's one on the other side, there's one down there, and there's one on the other side. You access them by going in the, the panel and up uh, on the inside on both sides. So shouldn't be too hard to do if you, if you want to do it. I think at this point, our job is to raise up the table. So I'm gonna try to do this with a hydraulic jack here. I bought this at Harbor Freight. It's a 20 ton heavy duty bottle jack. Uh, I've just got a four by four post that I cut to length. And uh, we'll see if this works. There we go. Hey, hey. I see, I see separation there. Yes. At this point, the only thing that really worries me is uh, my, my ground is not really level. It kind of tilts back like this, so I'm worried that the jack is gonna send it off to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put some boards under there as quickly as I can. We'll just do that on each side. This is just a piece of wood that I've got laying around. Let's see if I can raise it up a little more. I don't want to. I don't want to get the angle too severe because I'm worried that the uh, the posts are going to bind. Actually, I don't see any posts. I thought there were posts in there that would align it. That means that aligning this is going to be a pain in the rear when I bring it back down. That's great. That's just wonderful. Okay, so now that I've got this one board in here, I'm gonna lower it down and then I'm gonna raise up the other end and do the same thing over there. Try to anyway.
The instructions say to use two helpers on each side to lift. I don't, I don't really have two helpers. My boys aren't really strong enough to lift this thing up. They're not full grown yet, so hydraulic jacks it is. I just happen to have these laying around. There's a, there's a rubber grommet right here and right over there. And I really don't want to like knock those off, but at the same time, I got to get something in there. Let's see if I've got anything narrower than this. It's a little narrower, but maybe it'll hold the weight. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it holds the weight just fine. In the uh, instructions, they have like a four by four in there. So I'm gonna have to repeat this numerous times until I get it to the right height. I just don't want to go much higher than that because my jack is, I don't know, everything's at an angle. It's not fun. I'm not feeling it. Safety first. Seriously, I think that piece there is starting to make contact with the side. I'm not sure I can go any higher here. A little higher. So I'm using two pieces of wood here underneath the jack in an attempt to raise the jack up a little bit. I'm hoping that'll counteract the scissoring effect that I'm seeing as I raise things up. We'll see. That thing is definitely not going anywhere. And now I can get my arm up in here, hopefully, to work on these bolts. Yeah, there they are, I feel them. There we go, all right.